everyone, and welcome to Nakusa High School and another round of high school sports. We have girls action for you this evening. As the Medford Raiders come to town, they'll take on the hometown papermakers in non-conference basketball action. My name is Tom Kirst. Behind the camera tonight is Mr. Landon Wilhorn, and we sure are glad you could join us. But thanks always goes out to Tom Locks and his fine staff at Wisconsin Rapids Community Media for helping us make telecasts of NHS sports possible. Medford and Acusa get together tonight for the fourth consecutive season. During that time, Medford has a bit of an advantage with two wins against only one for Nakusa. But each one of those ball games has been close, and that's exactly what we expect this evening. Medford enters the game four and three on the year, three and zero oh in Great Northern Conference play. Nakusa two and seven. Overall, they are one and two in the South Central Conference. Basketball coming up. It's Medford and Nakusa right here in the Nakusa gym. We ask all those that are able to stand for the singing of our national anthem by the Nakusa High School Choir under the direction of Mr. William Seidel. For the starting lineups for tonight's ball game, first for Medford. Red Raiders coach, excuse me, the Raiders coached by Jessica Fraud. Make that Fod. Mackenzie Freeze is a 5'7 senior. Mindy Baker, a 5'9 senior. Laney Bruner, a 5'10 senior. Haley Klosnitzer, a 5'7 senior. And starter number five for Coach Fodd was number, I thought it was 51, maybe it was 21, Desiree Weissmiller. Now the starting lineup for the home team, the Coosa Papermakers. Coached by Mr. Scott Linsmeyer and Mr. Chris Densberg. Callie Dine gets a start tonight. She's a 5'4 junior. Along with Marissa Harnish, Marissa a sophomore. Tess Keenan wears number 21. She's a 5'8 senior. Jenna Baker, the leading scorer for the Papermakers this season. Wears number 23. She is a senior. And starter number five for Coach Linsmeyer, number 33, Danny Hendrickson. Danny, a 5'5 five, five junior. So Medford and Acusa renew their annual game tonight. Again, Medford winners last or two of the last three years. I believe Nakusa won the ball game last year, though, up at uh, at Medford. Nakusa a bit short-handed tonight. I'll talk about that a little bit more in just a sec. Klaus Klausnitzer got that tip, and with a quick shot, is Weissmiller, and she buries it. So Desiree doesn't waste any time. She hits the shot in the first 10 seconds, and right away pressure from Medford, and right away a turnover by Nakusa. And an easy hoop for Mackenzie Freeze on the other end. 
And we've got a timeout already in this ball game. We've only played 19 seconds. Medford has four points on the board, and Coach Linsmeyer doesn't quite like what he's seeing out there to start this ball game. On the injury front, or I can tell you who's not playing tonight anyway for Nakusa. One obvious injury is Amanda Schaefbauer, Amanda on crutches down here in the bench area. Also not, not dressed for the game tonight is Cassandra Mortel. And both of those girls starters the last time we saw the papermakers. So short bench, little inexperience on the floor. And what does Medford do to you? They trap you full court, and Nakusa throws it away. So Medford with it back again, leading four to nothing. 17-35 to play here in the opening half. Medford dressed in their road black tonight. Nakusa the home white with the hard to read numbers. Personal comment there. Nakusa zone defense tonight. Marissa Harnish runs the point of that 1-2-2. Two, two. Medford does a pretty good job of moving the basketball. From the baseline, that time missed by Weissmiller and the ball goes off of Laney Bruner, comes back to Nakusa. Let's see if Nakusa can figure out how to attack this press now. Looks like a 1-2-2 two, two zone press. What time Nakusa does a better job? Harnish would get the good look. With the putback, Jenna Baker, Nakusa's first points tonight. We get the ball in the front court, it's not so bad, huh? Four to two Medford. Another quick shot by Klosnitzer that time. And Nakusa the other way. And another bad pass. This time, Nanny Hendrickson sails it out of bounds. So if Nakusa can manage the turnovers tonight against this pressure, they'll be in the ball game. If. Nakusa 1-3-1, one, one, I believe. Nice play by Baker, she taps it away. Mandy Baker with it on top. Weissmiller with a good pass inside. Actually, Weissmiller with a shot. Klosnitzer with a good pass inside. And Weissmiller gets the bucket. Nakusa foul goes on, number 23, Jenna Baker. First of the night for either team. And Weissmiller now with five of the Medford seven. Hendrickson to Dine. Dine got away with a walk there. Kelly had the shot, went to the corner instead. Nakusa moves the ball well. And we get a travel before the shot, and that's a good call on Hendrickson. Looked like Danny was going to take it to the glass that time, but she picked it up early and then a little hop step to the laterally to get around a defender. 7 to 2 our score. Another walk, this time by Medford as Bruner takes steps. Bit of a slow start in this ball game. The teams look just a little bit lethargic. Nakusa played last on Tuesday. They lost in overtime that night to Auburndale. It's a pretty good Auburndale team too, by the way. Mandy Bruner just picked up, uh, made, made the Mandy Baker just picked up her first foul. So Hendrickson will put it in play to nine. Kelly hung that pass a bit, trying to get the ball to Harnish. Nakusa will keep it on their end. Kelly, 
Dine will put it in play. Baker out on the floor. Dine misses the 15-footer. Harnish back up and in. So Marissa with her first basket. And Akusa with four points, both coming on offensive rebounds, putbacks. Good move by Baker. Mandy Baker with a good move right around Kelly Dine. And now, Baker almost getting a steal. Nine to four, our score. Hendrickson double teamed. Bad decision there. She tried to get it to a teammate and Bruner picks it off and scores. Laney Bruner, her first basket, 11 to four. Baker inside finishes the job. Good hands by Jenna that time. Did you catch that pass from Hendrickson? And a good finish on the shot. Mandy Baker sails that one out of bounds. So both teams turning it over quite a bit. They've only played, what, almost four minutes. 11 to six, our score. Nakusa with a chance to get back within three. Kusa is looking diagonally for that cross-court pass. Harness with a miss there. A bounce pass tapped away by a couple of Nakusa defenders, so Medford will get it back. Last ball game before the holiday break, for Nakusa anyway. I believe it is for Medford too. Nakusa back in action on the 5th of January. Bruner with another bucket. And another steal. Baker, she is fouled by Hendrickson, so Baker will shoot two for Medford. Medford's won four in a row coming into this contest. Started the season 0-3. Four game winning streak includes wins over Tomahawk, Wausau East, Anago, and Mosinee. Baker makes one of two and then she's gonna take a seat. As number five, Sierra Hansen enters the ball game. Sierra 5'5", five, five, sophomore. And she'll take that point position now. Defensively. Hendrickson tried to split the defenders that time, drew the foul. And that's gonna go on Hansen. Her first team foul second for the Raiders. Bad pass. Hansen the other way. Klosnitzer right back to Hansen. From the corner, a three ball by Klosnitzer. Keenan with the rebound. Hendrickson to the basket. Keenan can't get it. Baker gets her hands on it and she puts it down. Jenna Baker with six of Nakusa's eight. It's 14 to eight. 12 40 to play here in the half. Cross court pass. Dine almost got a hand on that one. Another three ball on the way. This time by Brow. Or Rao, excuse me. Hendrickson the other way. Bad pass. Laney Bruner gets another easy one. 
Boy, Nakusa's made that bad pass into the middle three or four times here in the early going. 12-15 to play, first half, 16-8, Medford. Senacusa down eight. They have eight points and they're down another eight. 16-8 our score. Nakusa brings Baker up now, help handle that pressure. Keenan with a foul and she's fouled. Tess will shoot two. 20 gets the foul. That's Haley Klosnitzer, her first team third. Tess Keenan, a 5'8 senior. In and out on the first. Good with the second. 16 to nine our score, 12 minutes even to play here in the half. Hanson. Rao on the wing, right back to Hanson. Harnish got a hand on it, Hanson quickly, or with the quickness, got it back. Loose ball picked up on the baseline. The miss by Rowe. And it's going to be Medford basketball. Nakusa <laughs> not too pleased with that call. I believe the official said he thought the ball went off of Jenna Baker. Medford inbounds against that 2-3 Nakusa zone. Going to be an overt and back violation on Medford. So down by seven now, Nakusa with the basketball. And Nakusa's been down since the get go here. Four to nothing start for Medford. The biggest lead has been eight. Right now it stands at seven. Medford man-to-man -man right now defensively. So they switched up on Nakusa. Hendrickson inside, can't get it to fall. Boy, it sure looked like it was gonna go down. <laughs> 13, Katie Phillips, who is in the game now, of course, gets the foul. And Hendrickson short with the first. And long with the second. Nakusa still 1 3 1 defensively. And I believe Hendrickson just picked up her second. Nakusa pretty short at that guard position tonight. They really need Hendrickson to stay out of foul trouble. She picks up her second now with 10.41 to play in the half. Harness with a good play. Nakusa looks a little bit confused offensively. Still a man-to-man -man defense by Medford. And a pass from Dine sails over the head of Baker. Hansen all the way with a nice finish. Sierra Hansen, her first basket, 18 to nine her score. Baker called for the walk. 
Elizabeth Boudreau in the ball game now for Nakusa. She wears number 51. She's a 5'8 senior. So Nakusa right now with Keenan, Harnish, Boudreau, Baker, and Dine in the game. 18 to 9, our score. Phillips in the corner, back on top to Baker. Of course, each team with a Baker on the floor. Hansen just inside that three-point line. Keenan with the rebound. Hansen comes up to challenge Dine. We get an offensive foul, call on Nakusa. Elizabeth Boudreaux with her first. Didn't see it. Probably a legal screen, but. Both teams now with four team fouls. The only player with more than one foul, Danny Hendrickson for Nakusa. Nakusa doing a good job of covering up the post defensively. He gave up the three shot attempt here, and that's in and out for a freeze. A miss by Baker, and Keenan pulls away the rebound. It's an adventure getting the ball up the court today, isn't it? Good hustle play by Harnish, but she's the last to touch the basketball. So Medford will have it underneath their own basket with 8.34 to play in the half. Nice crowd on hand across the way. Bands here tonight. <laughs> Student section with a group of boys dressed decoratively for this holiday season. Medford's turned it over five times here in the first 10 minutes. Nakusa's turned it over 10 times. Baker lost the basketball. The other way, that's Mandy Baker. Hansen right back to Baker from 17. Phillips with a rebound. And Harnish lost that one off her foot. Again, good hustle by Harness. Just can't secure the basketball, though. <laughs> Haley Klosnitz are back in the ball game for the Raiders. Baker for three, that's good. So Mandy Baker with the first three ball tonight. And now Medford up by 12. At 21-9. Tana Keenan checks in for Nakusa, she's a sophomore. We saw Tana play at Port Edwards, I believe it was, early in the season. She'll give everything she has. Good luck for Marissa Harness, just inside that three-point line. So that breaks the Nakusa drought. Back within 10 at 21 to 11. Harnish and uh, Keenan really working on top there. Wild shot there. Harnish picks it up and ends up dragging a pivot foot. Traveling on Nakusa. That hurts, doesn't it? You work hard to get the basketball back and then you turn it over. Seconds later. It's back to work defensively now. I don't know if the is 2-3 zone or 1-3-1. One, one. I think it's a 1-3-1. One, one. 
Baker's going to get the foul as she went up and challenged Bruner that time. And it's the second on Jenna. Laney Bruner shoots a pair. She's got seven points. Medford as a team, three out of four from the line. Make that three out of five. It's going to be an Akusa basketball. Full court pressure this time. Keenan with it. Tana Keenan. Harnish to Baker. Jenna drops it inside, and Keenan is blocked going up. And Haley Klosnitzer picks up her second. Back to the line is Tess Keenan. Tess now two out of three from the charity stripe. And that Medford lead back down to 10. <laughs> Baker for three, that one's short. Bruner with the rebound. Hansen has it now. And we're going to get an Akusa foul, I believe, as Mackenzie Freeze went to the floor. And Marissa Harnish picks up her first. Team, no, team foul number six now on Akusa. So Medford in the bonus the rest of the half. Baker tried to dump it off to a teammate, Bruner. Off her hand, Nakusa gets it back. Again, full court pressure, and Nakusa with everybody in the backcourt. I never liked that one. That just clogs up the backcourt. Harness hands it off to Baker. That's gonna be up to Jenna Baker to get it across the 10 second line. Bad pass. Here comes Medford. Hanson. Harnish got a hand in there. That's going to be an Akusa basketball. Nice play by Marissa. Keenan looking for a friend. Finally finds Baker. Who finds Tess Keenan ahead of the crowd and she lays it down. It's the way to attack that press. Tess now with four points. Nakusa back within eight at 22-14. Boudreau makes a good play. Baker's pass is picked off by Keenan. Tess Keenan. Harnish picked up her dribble. Got it to Tess. Right back to Harnish. Boudreaux on the other side puts it down. Elizabeth Boudreaux with a putback bucket. And she's got a chance now for that three point play. As Nakusa cuts into that lead, we're down to six now, 22 16. Bren Rao got the foul. Six team foul on. Medford. Elizabeth completes that three-point play, gets Nakusa back within five at 22-17. Still 5-22 to play here in the half. Good feet inside, but again, can't be handled by Bruner. So Medford with quite a few empty possessions of late. 
Santana lost it from behind as Baker tipped away. It'll be Nakusa basketball. And now it's Medford and Jessica Fodd who's going to take a timeout for her team. 5.02 to play in the half. 22-17 Medford. Nakusa puts it in bounds, trailing by five. Harnish on the baseline, double teamed. Jenna Baker with a tough shot, left hand, got it back, put it in. And I believe it's going to be a bucket and a foul. So Nakusa back in this ball game as Weissmiller committed the foul on Baker, who missed the free throw. Got a correction, or I've been corrected, and I'm glad it was. Number five for Nakusa is not Tana Keenan. It is Lexi Dye. So number five is Lexi Dye for Nakusa. And I tell you what, since Lexi's been in the game, Nakusa's shaved quite a bit off that lead. Hell ball goes to Nakusa. Papermakers down by three. Medford's going to go back to that half court trap now. Die. Nice ball movement. Dying to Harnish to Keenan. It's a one point game. 4 10 to play in the half. We're going to get a walk. <laughs> Laney Bruner got a little excited when she caught that one inside. Surprised by the defender, I believe. End up shuffling the feet before the shot. You know, this is a 10 to 5 turnover game just a few minutes ago. Nakusa with 10, Medford with 5. Now Nakusa with 13. Make that 14. And Medford has ballooned up to 11 turnovers in the half. But Medford gets it back now. Four minutes to play, one point game. Nakusa has not led in this first half. Baker finds Bruner inside this time. Harnish takes it away. Baker. To Dine, who will shoot the three. And it goes over the backboard. Medford basketball. Good look, though, for Callie Dine. Three thirty to play, still a one point game. Freeze will shoot the three. Tess Keenan with the rebound. Die challenged in the backcourt by Baker. Foul coming up on Bruner. Jenna Baker beat Bruner to the spot that time. There wasn't a whole lot of foul there, but the official called it. And Jenna Baker ties the ball game. Her ninth point in the half, we're tied at 22. Nakusa with a chance for their first lead right here. And they got it. Ten points for Baker. Nakusa by one. They were down 12. So a nice little rally in the first last five, six minutes. Baker with a shot. Keenan with a rebound. Dying the other way. Baker looked inside, goes to die instead, who shoots the three. And Harness over the back of Weissmiller, I believe. And we're going to go to the other end and shoot free throws. Second foul on Marissa. That's three players now for Nakusa with two fouls. Uh, priority in this next two minutes and 47 seconds is not commit that third foul. 
Boudreaux back in, Harnish out. So right now, Nakusa with Dai, Boudreau, Dine, Baker, and Keenan. Bonus throw for Weissmiller. Desiree now with six and a half. We're tied at 23. Keenan with the rebound. Ba Dye gets it to Baker. Man to man defensively now for Medford. Baker begging for the ball inside. Not a good decision there by Dye. Baker the other way. Before the shot, we're going to get a travel called on Hanson. That's a tough play for Hanson. That was a that ball had a little velocity on it. It was a little bit low, and she had the basket coming up in a hurry. <laughs> Did the best she could to get that ball up on the rim, but called for the travel. Two minutes to play in the half. We're tied. Baker had Keenan there, didn't get her the ball though. Lexi Dye to Boudreaux. Gave a look to Baker that time. Dye! Baker, oh, looked like she was maybe fouled going up. No call, we're going the other way. Hanson, good move, good finish. Sierra Hanson has four. And Medford back up by two at 25-23. Baker to the basket. Keaton battles. Bruner comes away with it, and Baker with a silly foul. And that's number three. I know Jenna's working very hard in there, but that kind of foul is a lazy foul. You did your best to secure the basketball. It's secured by the other team. Get out of there and get down the court. Laney Bruner shoots the bonus. Medford back up now by three. Bruner with eight points, two out of three from the line. And she's good on the second as well. Nice looking free throw for Bruner. Minute 20 to play in the half. Dye does a good job. Harnish looks inside, now needs a friend. And she gets Keenan to come over and help her out. Tess now swings it to Dine. Minute to play in the half. Medford really sagging inside, trying to protect the middle. Good save by Dye. Harnish. That ball tipped away from Dye. It's, it's, it's odd. Anakusa is the shortest player on the court trying to post up inside. Harnish. Now we get a foul. That's a little touch foul. And Mar Harnish thinks it's on her. She doesn't realize she's shooting free throws. Mandy Baker got the foul, her second, and Marissa Harnish shoots the bonus. First one in there nicely. Marissa has a nice shot, good rotation on the basketball. Just a sophomore. Makes a pair. Two point game, 40 seconds to play in the half. See if Medford sits out and goes for one here. Nakusa's still in that zone. They'll shoot the three ball, Baker. Harnish with the rebound, 20 seconds to play in a half. She's double teamed, 
And we're going to get a foul on Medford. They looked like they had a good double team, but Rao got the foul. Uh, she went into Harnish. Marissa back on the line. This time she's shooting two as uh, that's the team foul number 10 now on Medford. One point game. That one's long. One point game, 13 seconds to play in the half. Hanson, Baker. Four seconds to play, Lexi Dye is gonna get a foul. Definitely had the arm of the shooter that time. It was Bryn Rao. And Bryn shoots a pair. For Lexi, that is number one, her first foul. And for Rao, that's her first point on the night. 28 26. Makes a pair. Four seconds, three, two, harness, you let it fly, got a chance. And the first half comes to an end. So hey, Medford starts strong, and Akusa really battles back. They're in this ball game. Our halftime score, Medford, 29, Akusa 26. So hey, we are better, uh, ready for the second half as the band strikes up the school song. Akusa in this ball game, only down three points. Let's see how they can start this second half, hopefully fast. First half scoring for Medford. Mackenzie Freeze had two points, Sierra Hansen with four. Andy Baker with six. Laney Bruner leads the team with nine. Desiree Weissmiller had six, and Bryn Rowe, make that Rowe, had two. For Nakusa, uh, Marissa Harnish with seven, Tess Keenan with six, Jenna Baker 10, and Elizabeth Boudreau with three. Should have been a double dribble there. From the baseline. <laughs> Haley Klosnitzer with her first bucket. I believe she leads this team in scoring too, so that's a, that's a plus there for Medford. Dine turns down the three, Keenan in the corner. Medford man to man again defensively. Keenan inside. Baker inside that three point line drills it. Jenna now with 12. And it's a 31 28 Medford lead. Nakusa eight out of 13, shooting free throws in that first half. Medford eight out of 11 as Keenan takes it away. Turnover's close, Nakusa with 14, Medford with 13. Really helps Nakusa not seeing that half court pressure. And Medford went away with, it, away with that a while ago. Baker tips it out to Harnish. Harnish needs a friend and finds Baker. Jenna needs to get it over that timeline. She does. Back to Harnish. Though she did not score at all in that first half, Lexi Dye really contributed a lot to Nakusa. Keenan with a tough, tough shot. Tess caught that ball underneath the net and managed to get enough backboard on her shot to get that ball down. 31-30 Medford. Klosnitzer with the miss, battle for the rebound, and we get a held ball. It will go to Nakusa. So the papers with a chance now to get back on top. Medford with full court pressure this time. Nine will put it in play. 
Nobody comes to the ball. She finally finds Baker. Harness. Baker. Baker's bump going up. She'll shoot two. So Medford went back to that half-court trap. And Akusa handled it pretty well that time. Weissmiller picks up her second. And Jenna Baker to the line. Jenna got popped in the face there on that last play. I think she's fine now, though. And she makes the free throw? No. Nice looking free throw, though. It's her first miss tonight. She's two out of three from the line. Got a chance to tie the ball game right here. That was not a nice looking free throw. <laughs> The wind caught that one, and Baker wants to come out, and she will, as Lexi Dye back in the ball game. Thirty-one thirty, our score. Fifteen twenty-nine to play in the game now. Klosnitzer. Baker on top. Klostitzer will fire the three. And Harness chases it down. And dribbles out of there. Up to Dine. Boudreau working the post now for Nakusa. Harness to Dine. Lexi might have got away with two hands on the basketball there. This is getting a little wild. And finally, Nakusa turns it over. And a good foul there by Lexi Dye. As she prevents the breakaway going the other way. Second foul on Lexi. Lexi, by the way, is a junior. Just looked at my program. Evidently, she wore Number 41 to start the season, because he's still 41 on the program. Hansen back in the game. She gives it up. Bruner, baseline, got it. Nice drive by Laney Bruner. She's got 11. Medford back up by three. Die in trouble. Somehow got it away to Keenan. And Keenan <laughs> pushed off the ball. <laughs> Looked like a check that time. Oh, and Lexi Dye preventing the basket on Baker commits the foul. So things get a little crazy out there right now. Both ends that time. So Mandy Baker, a 5'9 senior, who had six points in that first half, shoots two. Baker back in for Nakusa. That's Jenna Baker replacing Boudreaux. Baker one out of three from the line, make it two out of four. Full court pressure by Medford. 34 30 our score, 14 05 to play in the game. Harness. Boy, if Baker would have broke hard down the court, she'd have a layup. Another new face in the game for Nakusa as Baker lays it in. Forty-five in the ball game for Nakusa. I'm not sure who that is. We're going to find out as Laney Bruner gets another bucket. Thirty-six, thirty-two, our score. Harnish to Baker. Jenna Baker playing with those three fouls. Keenan inside. Got it. And a good feed by our mystery, mystery player. Test now with four and a half, ten for the game. Boy. 
Ren Rao with her first field goal. 38-34. Scoring picking up a bit in it. Nice pass. Dine got it. Good feed from Tess Keenan. Callie's first basket. 38-36. Baker. Keenan with the rebound. Finds Baker. Jenna's going to pull it back out and throw it away. Scott Lindsmeyer makes a pretty good play on the ball. For a guy his age. It's going to be Nakusa basketball. That surprises me. So evidently that touched somebody, buddy in black. I missed it. But Nakusa's basketball, 12-24 to play in the game. <laughs> Keenan, no, oh, couldn't get it to foul. Make that fall, but there was a foul. She'll shoot two. I'm not sure who got the foul. Is it 10, Mandy Baker? Her third. Nice touch by Tess on the first one. Timeout on the court, Medford takes it. 12.08 to play, 38-37 Raiders. So number 45 on the floor for Nakusa is Anna Schaefbauer, Anna a freshman, getting some varsity minutes tonight. Doing a pretty good job too in the second half. Tess Keenan. Hits the second. We're tied at 38, 12.08 to play. So the shorthanded Nakusa group putting up quite a battle tonight against Medford. Last ball game we saw with the Nakusa girls was a similar effort against Boston. It's like a gut check. Nice ball movement by Medford that time. And Laney Bruner gets her third field goal here in the half. She's got 15 points for the game. Taken away now by Bruner. Klosnitzer, nope, that's Weissmiller. She missed the shot, Schaefbauer comes away with it. Bad pass there by Dan Dine. Keenan was ahead of the crowd, but she really didn't have any, if she caught that pass, she wouldn't be able to do anything with it. So the question is, why make the pass, right? 40-38 our score. Oh boy, Bruner getting great position inside as Nakusa's falling asleep a bit. Or Medford's really executing well offensively. Baker got a hand on that basketball. Medford inbounds, 11-12 to play. Baker finds Bruner. Way too easy that time for Medford. And Tess Keenan gets her first foul on the night. So Lanny Bruner having quite the game. Good second half thus far. She's got six here in the half. Shoots two here. Puts her team back up by three now at 41-38. Shafe Bauer with a rebound. Nice finish, Marissa Harnish. Why, Marissa did a nice job of using her body that time to protect the basketball. Medford by one. Keenan with a good play. Earns the held ball, it's gonna stay on Medford's end. Pretty good pass that time by Baker. She drew the defense, tried to drop it off for Bruner. Keenan made a good play as well. 
See if Nakusa can prevent that little inside play here. They do as they have to go on the floor to Hansen. Oh, Keenan should have grabbed that basketball. Baker tipped it away, and I think Tess had a pretty easy pickup there. Desperation heave goes to Hansen. Baker pokes it away. One point game, Nakusa with a chance to get on top again. Nice play by Hansen. There comes Medford. Harnish gave up the baseline that time and it cost her. As Klosnitzer got the step on Marissa and Harnish commits her third. So now Nakusa with three players in foul trouble with three fouls, 10.09 yet to play in the game. Oh, good play by Baker, but the ball deflected off the back of the backboard, so that's a dead ball. So Medford will try it again on the other side of the rim. Three ball by Klosnitzer. Or is that a two? A long two for Klosnitzer. She got four and a half, four for the game. 43-40 our score. Under 10 minutes to play. Schaefbauer puts it on the floor. Gonna need to get rid of it soon. She does to Keenan. Baker triple team threw it away. Tried to get it back to Harnish, but Marissa had moved a couple steps. And Akusa having a problem with the turnovers again. Seven and a half, 20 for the game. Whereas Medford's cleaned that up a bit here in the second half, they've only committed two turnovers. And they're moving the ball well. Couple of misses by Bruner. And we're gonna get a fourth foul on Keenan. No, excuse me, a second foul on Keenan. Tess looked like she had a lot of basketball that time, but they say that she had also had a part of the arm of Bruner. Five team fouls now on the papermakers. On the floor, Nakusa comes away with it. Baker. Dribbles right by a couple of players, takes it to the rim. Harnish missed the shot. Marissa can't get it back. Bruner gets it. Boy, Nakusa had a good opportunity there. And a bad pass by Mandy Baker. His teams are starting to look a little bit tired. They're working hard in this ball game and it's starting to show. It hasn't been an end to end game, but it's been a hard fought game in the half court. Baker will take the 10 footer. Schaefbauer with a rebound. For three, Harnish misses, Baker battles. Schaefbauer, that's off, gets it back. Anna lays it down. No quit. And Anna Schaefbauer, her first bucket. One point game. Schaefbauer with the rebound. Gets it to Harnish. Right back to Schaefbauer, she didn't see it coming and Nakusa turns it over. Not sure what Marissa was trying to do there. I think she was tired, number one. Saying, hey, you bring it up the court. I believe Nakusa has maybe three timeouts left in this game. I think you're going to see Nakusa bench using some of those time, timeouts here in the last eight minutes. Oh. 
Baker picked up her fourth. And again, Nakus is just allowing the ball inside way too easy, way too easy. Weissmeller caught that ball three feet from the rim with nobody around her. And Nakusa's got to do a much better job at denying that pass. Smooth stroke by Desiree Weissmiller. She has seven points for the night. Three out of four from the line. Elizabeth Boudreaux back in for Nakusa. Replacing Baker in those four fouls. Weissmiller makes a pair. Three point game. It's where we've been the entire second half. Teskinen is fouled before the shot. Common foul. Team foul number three on Medford. And it goes on Sierra Hansen, her second. So Nakusa puts it in play. Harnish to Keenan. Boy, Harnish had the baseline if she wanted it. Bad pass that time by the freshman. And before the shot, Nakusa foul coming up on Kelly Nine. That is a shooting foul though, seven team fouls now in Nakusa. So sophomore Sierra Hansen shoots the bonus. Keenan with the rebound, lost it. Hansen gets it back. And now Tess commits a silly foul. Going after the basketball, but she pretty much went right through Hanson to get the basketball. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going through Tessa's head that time. She's quickly in foul trouble now with her third. And back to the line is Hanson. One and one. Good on this one. 46-42 our score. Boudreau will let that one go out of bounds. Nakusa basketball. 7 7 to play in the game. 46-42. Schaefbauer with it now. And Anna called for the travel. Six fifty-nine to play. Jenna Baker's coming back in, as is number five, Lexi Dye. Nakusa needs a stop here. They're down by four. You don't want that lead to get out of hand again. They were down twelve in the first half. Hey, nice play there by Dye. She blocked the shot. Baker with it. And I believe we're going to get a foul on Freeze. Mackenzie Freeze with a little push. Team foul number four. First on Freeze. Die will inbound. Kusa looks a little confused on this play. But it turns out pretty well. <laughs> nice pass from Die. To Keenan. Tess with eight and a half, 14 for the game. Two point game, 46 44. Three ball on the way, rims out. Nakusa comes away with it, Harnish. And another foul on Medford. Well, that three ball looked good, but it rimmed out. Nakusa battling up a storm underneath the rim. Got the rebound. Freeze got her second foul there. Team number five now on Medford. So Nakusa getting close to that bonus. 
6-10 to play. Keenan is fouled going up. Nice little play there as they've got the ball quickly to Tess. She gets it down there. She knows where to take it. And Mackenzie Freeze just picked up her third foul in the last two minutes. <laughs> Tess with a chance to tie this ball game. And she does. Well, she's been good from the line tonight, knock on wood. Six out of seven, six out of eight for Keenan. Tied at 46, six minutes to play. Bruner with a miss. That should be Nakusa basketball, it is. Why well, Bruner had a good look that time, just couldn't put it down. Mandy Baker back in for Coach Jessica Fodd. Lexi Dye with the basketball. And she walks. So it's Medford with a chance to get back on top again. Bruner can't handle the pass. Three ball. Klosnitzer, Baker with a rebound. And Nakusa wants a foul, but they're gonna call the travel instead. So Medford inbounds underneath their basket. Desiree Weissmiller buries the 10-footer. 48-46, Medford. Dye lost the basketball, retrieves it, and throws it away. No, Bruner stepped out of bounds, so Nakusa catches a break there. So Nakusa with it, exactly five minutes to play, trailing by two. Nine. Nakusa really testing the waters with the passing there, aren't they? they? Turn it over again. Baker, three-pointer on the way. That rims out Baker for Nakusa with the rebound. Jenna, tough shot, she put it down. Going to her left, not a whole lot of angle on that backboard, but Jenna got it down, we're tied at 48. Miss inside, Baker with another rebound. Rao had a good look that time, just missed the shot. Baker hits the three ball. One official says three, the other says two. And they put the three on the board, so I'm not sure how that works. But Nakusa with a lead. Keenan battling, it's the held ball, it'll be Nakusa basketball. And now we're gonna talk over that last basket. So the official over on this side of the court says it's a two, so it will be a two. And Nakusa leads by two now at 50 to 48, 350 to play in the game. Both teams in the bonus. Boudreau, cross court, Harnish. It looked good, a little bit long though. And Rao with the rebound, 3.30 to play. Good defense that time by Baker. And a frustration foul by Klostitzer. As she was pawing at Tess Keenan who had the basketball and we'll go to the other end and shoot the bonus. For Haley, that's her 
third foul. And Tess Keenan shoots the bonus, Nakusa up by two. Long with that one. And Bruner with a rebound. Three ball, that's gonna be off. Boudreaux with a good rebound. Lost the basketball though, and I think they're gonna call a foul on Elizabeth. And she reached in after the steal. And it's gonna be a bonus free throw now for number 10, Mandy Baker. Team foul number nine on Nakusa. Baker with a miss. Keenan battles, and they're gonna call a foul on Mind Mandy Baker. Well, I didn't see that one. I think I saw two kids going after the basketball. But they called a the foul. And we're going the other end and shooting free throws again. So Tess Keenan, who just missed a minute ago, gets another chance at that one and one. Jim gets quiet. Tess a little bit short. Baker with a rebound and put it down. Jenna Baker. Big hoop. Under three to play. Nakusa by four. Good move. Good basket by Bryn Rao. She has six points. It's a two-point game. 240 to play. Oh, that's a bad call. That's a bad call. The other official should have helped him out. Situation there was Dine had picked up her dribble. Someone reached in and knocked the ball out of her hands, and they call a double dribble. That was a bad call. I am really surprised that the official didn't get help from the other two officials. Medford puts it in play. <laughs> Two point ball game. Three pointer on the way. Klosnitzer misses again. And Baker with another rebound. Dying call for the travel. Two await the play. So Nakusa sort of stuck on 52 right now. They need another stop. Klausnitzer doesn't look at it this time. They're looking to get the ball inside. They do, and Bruner throws it away. How about that? Minute 50 to play. Still a two-point game. Dine. Harnish. Marissa. Dine will shoot the three. Harnish with the rebound. Picked up by Keenan. Sailed out of bounds. And again, Coach Linsmeyer with a fine play. <laughs> Nakusa just can't handle a basketball right now in the front court. Minute 30 to play, Nakusa by two. Look, look for him to go inside to Bruner. No, they shoot the three. Baker with a long rebound. Boudreaux takes it away and she is fouled, I believe, by Mandy Baker. No, it's not Baker. Who's the foul go on? 21? It went on Weissmiller. That should be Weissmiller's three. Uh, they only have two up on the board. So now Elizabeth Boudreau shoots the bonus, the one plus one. Then along. Bruner with a rebound. A minute 15 to play. Rowe does it again. 
She scored the last four for Medford. Minute to play, we're tied at 52. Harnish. Keenan, and a foul coming up on Medford. Well, it's just amazing how Harnish could get the ball to Keenan there. They were not far away from each other, but somehow Marissa could drop that little bounce pass in there for Tess. Two shots now for Keenan. Got the roll on the first. Nakusa by one. Medford with a rebound. 50 seconds to play. 10 footer rolls out. Bruner with a rebound and she is fouled. And that's a good foul. Tess Keenan just got her fourth, but that's a well spent foul. As now Bruner's going to have to make a pair rather than shoot the layup. And she will shoot two. And nice touch on the first. We're tied at 53. Anna Schaefbauer coming back in for Nakusa. She's going to replace Elizabeth Boudreau. Bruner short on the second, comes right off to Harnish. Dine, got it! Kaylee Dine, Kaylee Dine. Her second basket, Nakusa by two. 30 seconds to play, Harnish with a steal. And Nakusa with a timeout with 29.2 seconds to play. So Nakusa playing some spirited basketball down the stretch. They have the basketball, and they have the lead when we get back to this exciting game. As I said before, Nakusa, Nakusa will not play again now until the new year. I believe their next ball game is January 5th. Yes, it is. They have a uh, South Central Conference ball game on Friday the 5th against Westfield, and of course, we'll be here for that ball game here on community media or public access TV. Just a reminder, you can catch Nakusa basketball throughout the winter. Saturdays at four o'clock in the afternoon and Mondays at 8 p.m. You can also watch Nakusa basketball on the internet. Just go to the public access or Wisconsin Rapids community media homepage and find recorded television or something to that effect, archives, whatever. And uh, you'll find Nakusa ball games, not only this one, but other games played this year and maybe even in years past. So again, live TV, we are on Saturdays, 4 o'clock, Mondays at 8 p.m. Tess Keenan puts it in play to Baker. She's going to dribble on Bruner, and Bruner's going to get the foul. That's a fortunate whistle for Jenna that time because she was running out of territory. And she did have Marissa Harness right in front of her. So for Bruner, that's foul number three. And Jenna shoots a pair because Nakusa is in the double bonus. She'll get one more. Chance to make it a three-point game. Boy, the gym gets so quiet on these free throws. You just sort of wish there'd be a little bit of noise. In and out. Schaefbauer takes it up and is fouled. Holy cow, the freshman with a huge rebound. So now it's Anna to the line. And she'll shoot a pair. Who got that foul for Medford? 21, Weissmiller. Her third, and now Anna shoots two. Boy, the hoop just didn't want that one. In and out. She puts up that same throw right now. She's got a free throw. Made. There it is. 
Jafe Bauer gives Nakusa a three-point lead. Timeout, Nakusa, 20 seconds to play. Papermakers by three. So, here's the situation. Nakusa by three, 20 seconds to play. Both teams are in the double bonus. Both teams have a bit of foul trouble. Mandy Baker with the basketball. Looks like the three ball is what's in the plans here for Medford and they deliver. And Medford takes a timeout with 5.7 seconds to play and we are tied at 56. Boy, a big shot there by Mandy Baker. And right now I tell you, overtime looks like a real possibility. Situation, we're tied at 56, 5.7 seconds to play. Nakusa needs to go the length of the court. Surprises me, Medford is pressuring the basketball. They don't want to foul here, that's for sure. Baker, two seconds, one second. She's got the shot off, it's gonna be short. And we are heading into overtime here in the Nakusa gym. So for the second time this week, the Nakusa girls go into overtime. Our score at the end of regulation, Nakusa 56 and Medford 56. So everybody here, little Christmas present tonight, four more minutes of high school basketball. As we are tied at 56, Nakusa outscores Medford 30 to 27 in that second half to earn the extra period. Medford with the basketball to start out. Boy, well, yeah, that was a big three ball by Mandy Baker, her first of the game. That's her second of the game. Another three ball. Rao misses, Baker puts it back in. Ball bounced right off to Mandy Baker. And Medford with a two point lead to start the overtime. Baker looks inside. Keenan wide open. Tied again. Why well, my score sheet is pretty full for Tess Keenan, especially in the second half. She had a big game. Another three ball. Baker tied up inside. It's gonna be Nakusa basketball. As Baker and Bruner tied up. We played a minute in the overtime, both teams with a basket. We're tied at 58. Callie Dine drops it off to Harnish. Dine for three. Got it. Callie Dine with a huge basket. Nakusa by three. Medford swings the ball nicely. Now they go inside and they get the easy one with Weissmiller. One point Nakusa lead. 2-10 to play. Anna Schaefbauer called for the travel. So Medford with it, they're trailed by one. Taking their time, Nakusa not gonna come out of that zone defense. Less than two minutes to play. Baker will fire the three. Anna Schaefbauer. Called for the charge. And that's another call just not worth making. It was a travel anyway on Anna. And it was way late with the arm extended. So the same result. We give the ball back to Medford. Well, the freshman's eyes were wide open on that one as she was approaching that rim. Minute 40 to play, Nakusa by one.
Baker covering up Bruner inside nicely that time. Baker with a three, missed the shot. Keenan had a player over her back, but still managed to pull down that rebound. Arnish thought about the shot. Schaefbauer's pass slapped out of bounds. She's trying to get the ball inside to Jenna Baker. Good thought. So with a minute 12 to play now, Nakusa clinging to that one point lead, 61-60. Nine, finds Jenna Baker. Jenna takes it up in a crowd and wisely gets out of there. Going the other way, less than a minute to play. Nakusa needs a stop here. Brow with a miss. Nakusa with a basketball, 45 seconds to play. Nine. Ball deflected to Baker. They're going the other way. And Klosnitzer gets the basket. Medford by one. The shame there is that Coach uh, Linsmeyer was begging for a timeout over here, didn't get it. Now we're down to 20 seconds. And Akusa gets thrown away. Not sure why we didn't take a timeout there. Medford's going to take one, though. 15 seconds to play. Medford leads this ballgame 62-61. So Medford in control. They have a one-point lead, and they have the basketball. Akusa needs to go for a steal here. And look out on the other end. As Medford tries to sprint somebody past that defense. Tess Keenan's going to back up and make sure that doesn't happen. We get a held ball. Hard to believe, but a held ball. Medford still has the basketball, though. I thought Nakusa was just trying to foul myself. Who got the foul? I think Callie Dine, but I'm not sure. So 12.3 seconds to play. Going to call a foul on Jenna Baker. And she got tangled up with a Medford player. And that's number five on Jenna Baker. So Coach Linsmeyer is going to put Elizabeth Boudreau back in the game. We're going to go to the other end and shoot two free throws, and I'm not sure who's shooting. I know Medford is, but past that, I'm not sure. Shoot two. Haley Klosnitzer hits the first. Haley's got five points all here in the second half. Going to be Nakusa basketball. 11.4 seconds to play. And now Coach Linsmeyer is going to take a timeout. Full timeout, 11.4 to play, 63-61, Medford. So ironically, Nakusa now in the same boat Medford was at the end of regulation. They are down, and they need a basket here in the last 11 seconds to keep this ball game going. Three ball will win it, of course. And most importantly, you want to get two to play, and play on. Harnish with the basketball. She's going to take it to the basket. Left it short, Medford with a rebound, and that's going to be the ball game. 0.1 seconds to play, and Medford's going to shoot free throws, and they're going to get a win here in Nakusa tonight. Great effort, and I tell you what, Harnish had a good-looking shot there in the end, and just left it short. I was sort of hoping Marissa would pull up and shoot the three. So... Klosnitzer shoots two now. Haley with six points in the game, all here in the second half. Second half plus overtime, of course. 
Nakusa inbounds, and this ball game is over. So the papermakers shorthanded tonight, missing three players because of injury. Still make a game out of it. We play overtime, and Medford comes away a 65-61 winner. With the win, Medford now 5-3 on the year. They're 3-0 in their conference. Nakusa falls to 2-8 on the season, and they are 1-2 in the South Central Conference. But hey, what a game. What a great effort by both teams. It was certainly an entertaining night of basketball. We are glad we were here to see it and bring it to you on public access television. A quick rundown, scoring rundown for Nakusa, uh, excuse me, for both teams. Mackenzie Freeze ends up the ball game with two points. Sierra Hansen had five. Mandy Baker finishes with 12. Laney Bruner, very consistent tonight. She had 17. Katie Phillips with two. Haley Klosnitzer finishes with six. Desiree Weissmiller had 12. Ben Bryn Rao finishes with eight. For Nakusa, Anna Schaefbauer had two points. Callie Dine had seven. All of those coming in the second half. Marissa Harnish finishes with nine. Tess Keenan, a big night. 13 in the second half, 19 in the game for Keenan. Jenna Baker also having a good evening. She finishes with 20, 10 in both halves before she fouled out. Elizabeth Boudreaux rounds out the Nakusa scoring. She had three points. So again, a great effort. But what can you say? That's competition in high school sports. Maybe the next time things will go Nakusa's way, but it sure hasn't this week as they've dropped two overtime ball games here in the Nakusa gym. Well, for Landon Wilhorn, my name is Tom Kirst, and we want to wish you a Merry Christmas out there as Christmas is right around the corner, and we're going to take a break during the holidays. We will have our next Lacusa telecast on the 6th of January. That's a Saturday, 4 o'clock. It'll be Nakusa girls taking on Westfield. Again, thanks for joining us. Enjoy the holidays. Good night.